Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Portal 2. I'm your Dungeon Master Darius. Last we left off, Speedy Jail. If you're interested in an additional $60, flag down a test associate and let them know. Ooh. You could walk out of here with 120 weighing down your bindle if you let us take you apart, put some science stuff in you, then put you back together. Good as new. Hmm. That does sound tempting, though. Alright, so we got some orange stuff and blue stuff. We got some, uh... Things... And stuff. Yes. I'm presuming we're trying to get over here. I wonder how out of sequence this thing can get. Okay, I see, I see. So it wants us to speed our way through, hit that ramp, which will then fly us over there to the exit. Okay, I got it. How, though? And we need that cube. Excuse me while I examine my surroundings here. Okay, so we need that cube in order to open the thing. How do we get to that cube? Possibly up there. Oh boy. Okay, so we coat this in orange stuff. Go in through here, come out through there, fly to the moon, play amongst the stars. Still need to get that box. Well, step out of time. We need the uh, orange stuff. Damn it. Double damn it. Alright, now that we get that. Blue. Blue here. But I'm not just I, I really do need to switch to a different controller, I think. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, right idea, bad execution. I need blue there, so I'll bounce up to there so I can get the... Okay. Yep, 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 yep. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, now I just need to get back over here. Whew. All right. So we need... Blue. Blue. Excellent. Then we can just go bleh. Shit. Uh, again. This time with one of the, uh, Knowing what we're doing. <laughs> That's a lie. I don't know what I'm doing. I barely know what I'm doing here. Alright. That. There. And skadoosh, skadoom, zip up. I really don't like the way that it does that whole shaky, shaky thing. Makes me just a little bit paranoid that I'm about to die. But can you blame me? Huh. Ah, that's gonna suck. I'm not saying, I'm just saying. Because now I need to apply the same idea. Okay, I think I see where I have to go now with it. Um, yeah, 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 I see. 
Because I'll... Bleh. I'll come out. Dang it. Hit this ramp. In fact, let's, uh... Get that ramp a just a little bit more... Yeah. Oh, unless I gotta blue it. Do I gotta blue it? Because I need to make that into a bounce pad. Shit. I vaguely know what I'm doing. Ever so vaguely. Yep. Uh, bit. Bounce. Da, 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 da. There we go. Now we will go through there. You're like, hey. We need this. Am I over complicating portal portaling around the place? Yes. Do I care? Not much at the moment. This is working for me. And sometimes that's all you need. Alright, so now I portal there. Okay. Here we go. Boing. In case you're interested, there's still some positions available for that bonus opportunity I mentioned earlier. Again, all you gotta do is let us disassemble you. We're not banging rocks together here. We know how to put a man back together. So, oh, that's a complete reassembly. New vitals, spit shine on the old ones, plus we're scooping out tumors. Frankly, you ought to be paying us. We got a point. Hmm. Not a terrible deal, I think. Thinking is hard right now. I won't lie. Well, with the whole banging my head against the aperture sign about 50 times. Remember that? I remember that. My head still hurts. Thank you. I can't believe I'm thanking these people. For staggering your way through Aperture Science's propulsion gel testing, you've made some real contributions to society for a change, and for that, humanity is grateful. If you had any belongings, please pick them up now. We don't want old newspapers and sticks cluttering up the building. For many of you, I realize $60 is an unprecedented windfall, so don't go spending it all on, I don't know, Carolyn, what do these people buy? Tattered hats? Beard dirt? I mean... A little bit of dirt don't help, don't hurt anyone. Thank you for not loitering longer than 20 minutes. <gasps> Elevator to the surface. Damn it. Hmm. I got a feeling I'm not going to get that $60. Damn it. Oh well. Always worth a shot. Right. Probably not that way. Oh wait, no. Yes, that way. Carolyn, 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 why do I know this woman? Did I kill her? Or... Oh my god. Look, you're doing a great job. Can you handle things for yourself for a while? I need to think. Yeah. Uh, I'm good. Pretty sure I get, uh, some of this. Uh. Uh. Okay, maybe I don't have this. Let us help. Alright, where am I trying to go first? Let's, let's... Do a little looksy-loo around the place first. Cause that seems to be a problem with me, not not realizing where it is I'm trying to go. Uh-huh. Okay, there's there's already some stuff up there. 
If I do some of the blue. Alright, let me see where the hell it comes out first. Also, hey, fun fact. Left trigger allows me to do or uh, left analog allows me to do this. I'm not sure why I need a sneaking button, but hey, there it is. Does it just fire up the pumps? I think it just fires up. Oh, yep, there they are. Okay, so... That's dangerous. What is with Aperture Science and the goddamn facility full of things and walkways that are gonna get me killed? Holy shit. Gladys, did you design this place? Don't doubt it for a second. Okay, so the white area is done being produced. What is the white area? Not sure I want that question answered. Can I even... Okay. How... Do I get myself up there? Oh, wait. Oh! Okay. It makes areas that were previously unportalable on portalable. Is there a way I can stop these now? A new boss is a robot, but did you know robots are smarter than you? Or harder than you? Are better than you? All in here for testing today. Okay, that first statement is wrong. It's only about as smart as you can program it. Now, multiple people program it in such a way. It's so. Yep. I'm starting to think that maybe she don't trust birds. Can't blame her. You little things have poked my eyes out. Kinda of surprised that there's any birds left alive. Okay. Where I came from. And that's where I'm going. Huzzah. No, it's not. Where am I going? Up there somewhere? Ow. Oh. oh. Never mind. Did I already come from there? Yes. Yes, I did. Okay, but how... Oh, wait. Is there something up there? Nope. That's just a warning sign. Got plenty of those up, up and around here in Aperture. Uh-huh. Wait. Shit. Shit. I think I see what I gotta do. Or at least know what I gotta do? No, I, I can't do that. Well, it's because I can't go back through that way again. God, how the hell am I stumped every other, like, five seconds? I feel like a goddamn moron. Just because you are a wonder. I know. 
what makes it feel worse. Hmm. Wait. Unless I'm just trying to get through to that one? Nope. Already been here. Because part of me thought that I was going to have to, uh, like, do one of them there, tricky run jump things, or fall off a platform and do other things thing, but it doesn't seem like that. Actually, wait. How low? Too low. Too... Too low. Hmm. That's where I came from. You can tell by the intense sounds of machinery. Oust. Where's what, why, and how? Yeah, see, the angling of all this just makes me think to myself, Oh boy, I'm gonna have to jettison myself from somewhere onto another somewhere. Is that where I came from? Yeah, I think that's the one I came from. Because I'm trying to go up. Damn it all. So where the hell do I fall from if I'm supposed to get any sort of momentum to do the thing it looks like it wants me to do? Ah, sorry, rubbing my nose. Shut up. Did it. Welcome to the Enrichment Center. <coughs> Since making test participation mandatory for all employees, the quality of our test subjects has risen dramatically. Employee retention, however, has not. <coughs> As a result, you may have heard we're going to phase out human testing. There's still a few things left to wrap up, though. Now, the bean counters told me we literally could not afford to buy seven dollars worth of moon rocks, much less seventy million. Bought them anyway. Ground them up, mixed them into a gel. And guess what? Ground up moon rocks are pure poison. I am deathly ill. Still, it turns out they're a great portal conductor. So now, we're going to see if jumping in and out of these new portals can somehow leach the lunar poison out of a man's bloodstream. When life gives you lemons, Make lemonade. <coughs> Let's all stay positive and do some science. That said, I would really appreciate it if you could test as fast as possible. Carolyn, please bring me more pain pills. My way out is through there. But hey, at the least we know that it's, uh, deathly poisonous moon rocks. Oh, there it is. See the red big red switch. Freedom! Maybe. Why not? No in this place? There's like 50 billion more tests to go through. Ah oh well. That's just life, I suppose. That's a weird shake. Good to know I got poisonous gel attached to my hand, though. I suppose that's good to know, anyways. 
Hmm. Alright, so I went up there. Kind of the crux of this entire situation, ain't it? Oh, hey, I need to need to make this area portalable. What's that? Oh, there's no other areas to put a portal. Excellent. I mean, okay, shush. Ah, uh, anyone does. But I pretty much just need to aim it wherever I need to portal it. And it portalifies it. Then. Oh. Um, what? There we go. All right, now that I'm out here... Um... Uh-huh. Okay. Mm, that don't work as planned. I feel like I'm getting the general gist of what I'm supposed to do and where I'm supposed to do it, but at the same time, you all know me, I'm kind of an idiot sometimes. Okay, okay, I think I see. But basically, I'm just trying to make a freaking trail of goop where I believe it needs to go. Like, I'm trying to get up through there. Or I need a high point to fall through. Up there. Through slash two, anyways. How the hell am I going to get it all the way up there, though? I mean, besides carefully. Uh-huh. Oh, and damn it, did it again. Oh, that works. Don't know if this is what was intended, but hey. It worked. Put a little bit more goo down here, though. I, I said down here. Trying to make an area where I can possibly jump down onto. Okay. There. Well, first we gotta get up there, so. That. And then there. Th there. And then we just fall down here. <laughs> Huzzah. Alright, I've been thinking. When life gives you lemons. Don't make lemonade. Yeah. Make life. Take the lemons back. Yeah. Get mad. Yeah. I don't want your damn lemons. What am I supposed to do with these? Yeah, take the lemons. Demand to see life's manager. Yeah. Make life rule the day. It thought it could give Cave Johnson lemons. Do you know who I am? 
I'm the man who's gonna burn your house down with the lemon. Oh, I'm gonna get my engineers to invent a combustible lemon that burns your house down. <laughs> point is, if we can store music on a compact disc, why can't we store a man's intelligence and personality on one? So I have the engineers figuring that out now. Brain mapping. Artificial intelligence. We should have been working on it 30 years ago. I will say this, and I'm going to say it on tape so everybody hears it a hundred times a day. If I die before you people can pour me into a computer, I want Carolyn to run this place. <laughs> Now she'll argue. She'll say she can't. She's modest like that, but you make her. <coughs> yeah, I'll put her in my computer. I don't care. All right, test's over. <coughs> you can head on back to your desk. Goodbye, sir. I mean, it sounds like he'll well-meaning individual at the least, save for the whole, you know, combustible lemons part. I mean, lemons hurt enough if you ju just. They're so sour, man. Bustable lemons? Jesus. Hmm. That's a whole lot of up. Whole lot of up. God, imagine trying to get to some of these places. Like, you work here. Try to get it. All the way up to your desk. And just one of these little side cubbies. Basically need the portal gun just to do so. Maybe that was the crux of their design when it came to this place. Uh, you know. Trying to do the whole portal -y thingy without realizing exist in the first place. I don't know where I'm going with that. Um... Oh, there? Hmm. Nope. Yes? Okay. I think I see where I'm trying to get. Nope. Not there. I don't see where to go without falling. Okay, I get it. I hate that I now get it, but I get it. Because I need to do that. Nope. Do that. Nope. Do that. Look at the blue portal. And go. Whee! Not sure what I'm trying to see up there. Oh, I see. Yep. Where did I just go? Here. Okay. I saw where it wants me to go. It's just... Nah. Midair movement in this is a little funky. Tip mouse. Okay. Hit my merc. Whether it's a good mark or not, I don't know. Probably should actually try using the blue portal for this. You know, I'll alternate them. Blue, red, blue, red, well, blue, orange, blue, orange. You know, like so. Oh, that's gonna be disorienting. Okay, so... Blue? Blue. Ow. A face. God damn. 
The problem isn't the portals. The problem is my perception, as per always. But I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here. When we return, there's more science to do. And, uh, I think we're realizing something about GLaDOS. Yeah, she's not maybe a robot. Uh, maybe she's AI the entire time. But thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm enjoying playing it. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.